Hey, Doug, I'm here near the La Luz Trail and take a look at the mountains back here. You can see there's a lot of smoke. It's pretty cloudy out here. A spokesperson with the Environmental Health Department told me that while this mask is good at protecting us from COVID-19, it's not going to do much when it comes to those small particles that are found in smoke. Right now at the Foothills Monitor, the ozone levels have jumped up above the threshold that we start considering a health alert. Wildfires burning in our state and Colorado are impacting our state's air quality. We're talking about ozone at ground level where it's not so good. At the surface, it's a lung irritant. A health scientist with the Albuquerque Environmental Health Department says the wind speeds play a big part in how those harmful air pollutants travel. It causes problems for people with asthma, chronic bronchitis and other respiratory issues. But what about COVID-19? A spokesperson with the department told KOAT that exposure to these wildfire particles can aggravate COVID-19 symptoms and infection with the virus can increase health impacts from particle exposure. With these elevated particle levels, department officials said that people who are considered high risk should stay home. It's not as much a problem for people who are healthy. As smoke gets thicker and ozone levels get higher, then it starts getting to be a problem for everyone. We're not at those levels yet, but we're keeping an eye on it. Currently, a health alert has not been issued for our air quality, but health officials tell me that they may issue one sometime tomorrow or this weekend. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. An environmental health department spokesperson also told us this week, and we may even start to see some smoke from those fires burning in California.